Hello and welcome to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in South Wales, UK. So, yes, you guessed it, another winter repainting, but let me show you how to paint a simple, effective painting with just a few colours. Sound interesting? Let me just show you. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. So thank you very much for watching the introduction. All I'd like to do is ask you to click the subscribe button. It's totally free. It doesn't cost you nothing. All it does is promote me on YouTube. So if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to click subscribe. The notification bell, leave a comment, a like, a thumbs up and all that type of stuff. So let's have a look at the palette because that's what you're here for. Today, simple and effective painting. We're we'll just using a few basic colours. A blue, a burnt umber, a black, and some white. That's it. Yes. So, um, just a couple of different brushes, short flats, and um, toothbrush, and uh, just a little um, brush that I've, 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 I've just basically cut and made myself. It's a little fan brush. So, without further ado, let's have a look at what we can do here. Um, I'm just going to pick up a short flat getting a bit of moisture on my brush I'm gonna get a little bit of white paint and a little bit of tiny little bit of black like that and we're gonna make a bit of a blue sky that that bit of a gray sky I should say not a blue sky it's a gray sky <laughs> gray scale yes we're just gonna put some gray today it'll all make sense at the end of the lesson so don't worry about it it's not going to be completely gray but this will all make sense as we progress so what we're doing is looking at tones and shades basically so it's a tonal type of painting and i can show you how to turn a tonal painting into a lovely painting as we progress so i'm just getting a little bit of that light color there there's a bit of white maybe just a touch of burned umber now just to change things up a bit just a touch of burned umber just to get into that sky a little bit of black i want to darken the sky up i want to darken the sky i'm using a mars black so you could see it's quite a it's quite a blue black there we go i want a bit darker up there a bit darker there we go bringing that down it's an effective way just to do a simple painting, very easy and effective. We're going to maybe put a few shimmers of cloud shapes and stuff in like this. If you've painted with me before, you know I don't worry too much about certain things. Now I'm using a bit of cardboard today, it's like a 10 by 12, I've just put a bit of gesso on that. Um, and that's it really. So we need a, we need a, a darker grey again now because I'm going to put a mountain in today. I'm just going to put a mountain in, there we go, like this. Just form in a couple of mountain shapes. Choosh, like that. Just let the brush do the work. Let the brush do the work like that. A couple of these lovely paint marks. This is what we want. Let's get some, a little bit more black because I just want to darken back a little bit on this mountain like that. There you go. A little bit of white down on the front side. We want a bit of light there. Let's come down like that. Maybe, maybe a bit more white 
and have fun let the let the paintbrush do what it wants to do look for some shapes and, and that there you go so we can see there's some mountains coming in maybe maybe in your world we could possibly have another mountain range just coming in there like that got a bit of a highlight bit of snow on that one it's a bit flatter that one and then we'll just get some white paint and just scrub a bit of that in front like that now what I'm going to do is dry that off with a hair dryer and I'll show you a quick technique It's very cold in the studio today. I've got my little heater on over there, keeping my little feet warm, because <laughs> I suffer really badly with cold feet. I don't know if you do that as well, but uh, I certainly do. So I've just gonna, got a larger brush now. I'm gonna get a little bit of this white. This is called uh, Mix Mix In White, Zinc Mix In White. It's a very, very transparent white, which I use a lot for doing this particular technique. And that is basically just a knock back some mist on these mountains like this it'll all make sense it will all make sense just a little bit of mist again a little bit of kitchen roll just lifting a bit of paint off the tops of those mountains again a bit of mist down there like that and that's going to dry and it's going to go quite dull and it's going to knock that right back. It looks really misty. Now, what I shouldn't do at this point is paint over that, but I'm going to. Um, because I'm just going to get a little bit of, again, grey and white. A bit of burnt umber into that. So I'm just changing the flavour of this up. And all I'm doing now, I'm going to put in some little shapes like this just tap in the brush very very distant very very distant trees very very distant little forest of trees there you go There's a tree when it falls over and there's nobody about to hear it. Does it make a noise, I wonder? Well, we don't know because we're not there, so it does, I suppose. There we go. <laughs> you could just about see them. Let's get a little bit of white paint. Just a little bit of white paint. We're going to just touch a bit of pure white paint just on those three little shapes that we've made. Possibly look like they're laden with snow. There we are. A few darker ones there, a bit, big, bit, few bigger ones there. We, we just made a little happy accident, so we'll continue with that. There you go. Just like that. <laughs> so let's get our grey again. A little bit darker now. A little bit of a darker grey. A little bit of a darker grey. We need darker than that. We 
Maybe, maybe a little bit lighter actually. There we go. Bringing that down. And just enjoy and have fun. Just put a few little lighter and darker areas in place, just like that. Bringing that down there. There you go. It looks like there's nothing but grey at the moment, but it will work out, I promise you. And when we get a bit of a flow going, it's a little bit darker in the foreground. Just like that. So see if, if you come in darker in the front, you're going to see this actually pushing those mountains back. So that's that's all it is. As, as you come forward, things need to be just a little bit darker. And when I paint things like this, it shows you in in more of a, a detailed way what I'm on about. Um, because we can talk sometimes about how things are pushed back and how things are brought forward but until we see something like this painted in this type of style it explains more than I can ever explain verbally because um, you can actually physically see the difference and that's why I absolutely love um, working and, and explaining things like this because if you can physically see it words paint a thousand pictures in your brain don't they and they explain a lot more as well I think I think it does a lot more I, I think it does a lot more at the moment it looks like there's a load of a load of um, mountains up in the clouds doesn't it it does so I'm gonna get a I'm just gonna I just gonna use this brush should I just use this brush I think I will so I'm gonna bring some more trees forward It's like a slightly darker. There you go. Just a little pattern. It's still a, it's still there, way in the distance. It's still way in the distance there. So you don't have to be too detailed. This is about explaining about different l layers. This is a another a plane there, so that that's separated from that. And I'm, and this is what I'm trying to explain. How you go about this, I leave to you because if you want to put more detail in, then of course you can put more detail in. But you don't need to. If you're standing back and looking at something like this, there's not a lot of detail in this. And people will be amazed by how little detail you've got, but how, how effective things can can be just by doing the odd little thing like this. So it already looks as if there's a few trees there. And as I come forward, what I want to do is um i need a i need a i need a better brush actually i need a cleaner brush in fact i think i'll just wash that brush out there we go what i want to do here now is get something a little bit darker bit of burnt umber bit of black and burnt umber there we are and now i'm going to put A couple of more trees in, but a little bit more detail. There we 
that's not that. Now this reminds me of going out into the fields and well not so much in this country but I think in places like America you can go out and, and find your own Christmas tree can't you and you can go and cut down your tree a bit like the um, the um, Christmas vacation film isn't it with with uh, Chevy Chase and he goes out and he and he gets his Christmas tree and brings it home and there's a squirrel in it and everything and it's really fun it's one of my favourite films that is so we'll we'll put a few we'll put another one a bit darker in front just like this and as I said it'll all make sense as we progress there you go get a bit of snow because we need to put a little bit of snow on these now Just like that. There's a reason why we need to put a bit of white on. I gotta try and not destroy everything. And these paintings I do just for fun. These paintings we do just for fun. There we go. So you can see there's some trees and Oh, it's wonderful, isn't it? Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I love painting things like this. Let's just get a bit more white coming down there. We will get a palette knife and just pull in a few little twigs and things. <laughs> I love just making stuff up. I think it's a wonderful thing to do is 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 do stuff like this because at the end of the day the most important thing is our in fun I think it really is Do 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 If you've never painted just with a few colours then I suggest you give it a try because 
you know, sometimes things work out, sometimes they don't, and they don't always work out for me. But the majority of the time, I'm, I'm quite happy with them because at the end of the day, it's about stress and Christmas and stuff like that at the moment. <laughs> I think um, having a bit of fun, especially over this time of year, is very important. We, we, we worry and stress too much sometimes in life. And I think the important thing is that we just have fun, just in fun, have fun and enjoy enjoy things we don't we don't play enough as, as adults we don't play as adults we don't play enough we really don't so what I'm going to do now is we're just about ready ready for the final thing and all I want to do now is just dry that off a minute So I'm just doing that now, and um, these look like baby trees now because I put such a big tree there, it's made them look small. So that's okay, I can live with that. So maybe, maybe we can do, um, maybe we can put another little tree in. Maybe we can put another tree, maybe just on the, on the, on, on the side. I got quite a wet brush. Just on the side. Coming down there. There you go. It looks a little bit better. Looks a little bit better. Um what else can I do? I tell you what I can do. Let's put a few rocks in. Let's put a few rocks. Just put a few rocks. Just on the front there like that. A little bit of white paint just on top. Like as if there's a few rocks and things. Just in the front there. we'll get what else can we do we'll get some grass poking their heads out so all these different things that I'm doing is really designed uh, well not designed but it's, it's it's my thought process um, of how to give you different techniques um, in one painting really um, it's it, I'm not so much worried about composition and um, how the painting looks it's more about the techniques and ideas that you can carry forward and, and, and put into your paintings this is why I paint like this it's it's more of a teaching aid a visual teaching aid than anything and I'm not worried about being accurate and and, and P perfect perspective and things like that that's not what these lessons are about these lessons are to show you methods that you can turn into your own paintings but sometimes they work 
and they turned out really nice. <laughs> anyway, before the last process. Right, I hope it's dry enough. <laughs> sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. So what I'm going to do now, um, as you've seen me do many, many times before, and this is by this is my favourite preferred method of, of doing this. I'm just going to make sure my brush is nice and clean. I'm going to get some zinc mix in white like this. Uh, this is the transparent white that you can buy. I'm putting some water with that. I'm going to get some blue. And I'm going to dar darken that up with a little bit of blue. Be very careful because this, oh, this blue is quite opaque. So we don't want to put a lot of blue into it. But we need a, a nice tint. And we can do this with acrylics. Now, if you're going to do this without any mediums, then what I suggest you do is varnish your paintings afterwards when they dry. After about 14 days, in fact. Because that's going to give the paint time to, to cure. And once you varnish it, then it's not going anywhere, especially with a varnish. All we're going to do, oops, all we're going to do, we need a bit, a bit more blue. All we're going to do is put a blue wash just over that and get a bit more blue. It's just a balancing act, a bit more blue. And we're going to put a blue tint all over the whole painting like this bit of bit, bit of blue just to cool things down a nice blue tint just like that there you go Just giving it a cold, a cold look, a, a, a wintry type of blue, um, frosty um, type of look, but a little bit more blue in the sky. It's like a glazing technique. But a bit more blue in the sky. We can take a little bit off with our brush or with our tissue paper, just like that, and then. If you wanted to, you could just just re-emphasize some touches of white just on the tips of the branches like this, just to stand that out a bit more, just to bring it out, which is what we want to do, because it's heavy laden with snow, like that. Let's get that blue against that lovely, a uh, white against that lovely blue wash that we've just put on. And it really, really does make it stand out a lot. It looks really cold. And let's put a little bit of white, like as if it's a bit of a drift here and there, just like that. Just like that, merge out in there, like that. There, and then we, what we could do then is get our toothbrush, put in a bit of paint, and as we pull towards ourselves, we could get some snow coming down. And then all of a sudden, we've got a wonderful Christmas card, Christmas tree, seen done as easy as that so i hope that's helped you and given you a few ideas of how to implement something into your painting and like i said the christmas card it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to look like a christmas card thank you very much for joining me in the studio don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you next week Bye.